I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks so much for watching this video. I want to wish everyone a Happy New Year. It's been a few weeks since I've done a video, and for me there's been a lot that's been going on. I know for a lot of you too, and you know, just getting through the holidays was hectic, and having things get back to normal and then only to find maybe it's not so normal. So I have quite a few things to talk about and I think that uh, when I show you and tell you some of what's going on sort of behind the scenes and about the personal reunions, it'll kind of shed some light for you and my objective is always is to help you feel better, to help you feel calmer, to help you understand you're not alone not crazy and you want to be one of those couples that people look at and they don't go oh god those two are crazy about each other like they're crazy about each other you want to be a couple where people look at you and you and they say those two they are just crazy about each other they just exude the love and that's where we're going now this year will have a lot of the same elements as last year did. And so I want to tell you a few things leading up to this. Last year, as of August, that is when we were able to really conclude with Universal Karma, finish it, conclude it. The months since August have been that grace period for uh, concluding and finishing with people. For a lot of you, you didn't know what was going on, and it's been a bumpy ride. November, you hit November, everything seemed fine until you got to that 11-11 gate, and for a lot of people, it seemed like all hell broke loose. And there's a reason for it, because these are one of these separations where the people who are going, who've made choices, who uh, ha are, are sort of the ones to uh, begin their merge, coming into their full physical reunion. This was the time for a lot of decisions to be made, and you had a lot of help. Now, the holidays also presented a lot of things to people. I had a lot of people report back that there were people coming out of the woodwork, situations. Now, what are we doing here? Okay, you are continuing in the new. Not only is it a new year, the beginning of your brand new life started a year ago. And that was when you were able to. And it's an ongoing process. I will repeat this to you. This is a process. This is not a flip the switch thing and all of a sudden you're flung into the fifth dimension. It is taking time to identify and divest yourself of anything that isn't unusable. And the things that you really don't want to bring with you, either in your physical body or into your union, and especially into your union with your true beloved. And I know some of you are saying, everything was fine. And then everything just started falling apart. And there's a reason for it. It's because those things, whatever it is, they need to come out of both of you, not just one person. This is a union. It's a two-way street. So continuing in the new, and right off the bat, starting January, just last week, 21st, so starting January 21st, that is when the retrograde started. And it's going to continue until February 11th. What is this one about? Well, people will say to you, oh, it's about technology. Technology doesn't work. There's sunspots. There's weird energies. There's uh, your equipment doesn't work. Your car breaks down. This one is all about relationships. Okay, it is all about your relationship. And what does that mean? It means you, if you're with your union, if you are by yourself, or you're living with your twin flame, you're in continual union. That's a thing that is not widely understood by people. You have an eternal union. It exists. It's not something that you chose. You were created. You were created this way. Now, some people are saying, 
Why did we come to this planet? This is ground zero for getting rid of your garbage, your baggage, your trauma, your drama. Get it all out. Not an easy task. And I know, because I've been doing it right here, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily putting myself in a, a superior position. What I am doing, however, is letting you know that there is a way. And I'm going to get around to that. Okay, many people are falling away. It's their choice. There are people who have not realized the scope of this both the intimate, deep level, tiny, minute scope, and the universal level scope of this. Twin flames, true twin flames, are everything large and small. You just are. You are everything large and small. Now, there's other things that are happening. People are making choices, and they're choosing to be with soulmates. They're choosing to retreat back into marriages or retreat into religion. They're hanging on to the things that are familiar. Why? Because some of this road, some of you are the pioneers. Some of you are literally paving the way. And there's a couple of things that I'd like to say. If you are a Blu-ray twin flame, and the reason that I speak about Blu-rays and why we're important, I want to tell you right now that every color of ray is equally important and every ray represents something. The blue ray, you are the creators. You are creator gods and goddesses. And that's no small thing. You are the ones who have created the brand new uh, grid points. You've cre you're creating a flower of life. You are creating new connections, and you are also the ones who have been transmuting. So some of you are aware that you've been doing large bundle transmuting for the collective. Some of you have been aware that while it was necessary and, and spirit was telling you, go to your twin, go to your twin, go to your twin, and you're like saying, how do I pay for that? How do I get on the plane? How am I going to get transported? And some of you did it. And some of you got there and you found out, I think all I did was vacuum up this part of our grid point. I never bumped into my twin, but there was a lot that I could perceive was leaving. And some of you were very brave. You did it anyway. And I applaud you. Some of you didn't. You hesitated. You second-guessed yourself. You decided that you were going to put it in God's hands. You decided that maybe... You would just be with a soulmate because it was easier. Whatever the decision was. But the bottom line is that you are the ones here as part of the ground level twin flames who are blasting this wide open. And yes, there's been a lot of pressure on Blu-ray twins. Blu-ray twins are also some of the ones who've had some of the deepest soul damage. Deepest soul damage, which has made people afraid and this is why it's all about relationships, because it is about uh, knocking down those fears. Why? Because it has been how you've related to mom, to dad. Now, the holidays for a lot of people were really having you examine your relationship with the maternal. You know, what about you and mom? What about you and your grandma? What about the maternal? I had a friend who came back from Hawaii, and she was supposed to stay with her sister. The minute she got there, she, uh, her sister had taken in a foster uh, dog. And this dog was a rescue from a breeder. And the breeder just pretty much left the dog alone after the puppies were born. I mean, her, her breasts were hanging out still. And she was so needy. I went over to see my friend after her long trip back to Chicago. And this dog was there, and all I kept getting was, you know, this is part of our relationship with, with the maternal, with the feminine, keeping her pregnant, controlling her. These are some of the things that you're examining. What is your relationship from within your union, the aspect of the feminine? What is your relationship with your twin? 
it's also um, how you've related to other people, places, things. If you love your twin, but you're being, you know, not so nice to other females in your life or the feminine, it's going to show up. And it's going to show up during these Mercury retrogrades. It's the same with the masculine. Now, I have a little illustration for you. Some of you, I don't know if you played this game as a kid. This is, this is a fortune teller. I, had, uh, I asked my son, can you ask one of the kids at school to make it? But if you look at it, if you open it, this is what we're doing. You are bringing, you're bringing the four corners, all the aspects of the divine feminine were brought in last year. So that you got to the tail end of the year and a lot of people were examining what's my relationship with the feminine because you're, you're collapsing it all in. You and your twin are in the center. This year is for integrating the rest of the divine masculine. It needs to hold you up. You know, and, and at school, you know, you'd be like this. Okay, tell my fortune. Well, I could put in here, sorry, sorry about that. I could put in here, ooh, what was your relationship with your father who drank? And you'd have to really examine that because that actually is something that, you know, are you going to carry that into your union? That's the kind of thing that these Mercury retrogrades are for. Pay attention to the messages and signals that the universe is sending you because it's, it's not happening to make your life difficult. It's happening for a reason. And I have another illustration here. And I think a lot of you by now, you know me. I'm not, I don't have the skills or the time to uh, be an illustrator. So I come up with other props. A lot of it, it, it's just stuff that I have around the house. And this is, this is the earth. This is the flower of life. So this is you and your beloved having pulled in all these aspects and you've connected it. You've connected it to your grid point. This part is you and your beloved. This is your Teflon coated tube. This is the part of you that goes from your crown to your earth, I'm sorry, your soul star to source. So source love is what you're pulling through and you're also sending it out to this grid. And some of you, while Blu-rays have broken down the old grid or dismantled or, you know, smoothed over what other parts uh, weren't usable and repaired it or restored it, this is the work of Blu-rays. Okay, this enables other color rays, orange rays, gold rays, to step in there and do what they're supposed to do. Help the kids, help the animals, help the environment. Blue rays are the first ones to pull through source love, and that is going to be the fuel that fires this grid and, yeah, sparks up those inspirations, gets people going, enables them to take action blast the door open, okay? And while this is maybe a cheesy little illustration, you're literally pulling it to the earth, okay? And you're the anchor spot. So you, the human, are the physical conduit for source love. It comes right down and through and out your heart. Now, if like me, you get signals from spirit and spirit says, go here, go there, do this, sit there, you can literally feel it go through your body like you were a conduit. It is that way. And I've already been doing this for several years. In September of 2012 for the uh, fall equinox, I was walking and I came across, this is part of an uh, old maid card deck, this card. And I didn't know it, but my guides at the time said, are you going to be ready to be the announcer? I had no idea what they meant. But the following, uh, just before the spring equinox, I started, you know, really understanding a comprehension level of what is going on. Why are we doing this? And a lot of people say, well, we're creating the new earth. 
the new earth is created and it's existing at a fifth dimensional level a lot of you belong there a lot of you know it in your heart you're just saying I was born and I've known from a child that I'm just not from here I don't belong here I got to get out of here well your twin is your ticket out of here you do actually uh, have to get together so those of you who yes if you're falling away and you might say to me oh Patricia uh, you know I tried I talked to him I gave him an article I did this I did that they don't care guess what source love always cares that's the answer source love always 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 cares you have to reach up for it and and reaching you have to reach inside and make the connection you have to clear things away I did a video uh, probably about a month ago that I called I called it cracking open the heart for a hundredth time why because I was understanding that as the holidays were approaching I was breaking up with things I had to break up with people during the holidays I had to break up with a family member because they just felt like they were pushing my buttons and I was saying what gives with this guess what it was time to break our own our old relationship I value that person so I wished for a new one a new relationship not a new person a new relationship so there are many twin flame dynamics it's important to own your own true love story only you two have the unique blend that you are you're, you're no longer cookie cutters you're no longer simply human you are in a human body and you are a twin flame having a human experience and not the other way around and you are um, rising up and connecting <clears throat> your angelic body within to the higher parts now one of the other things that's happening right now is the long ago and far away places where you have had or sustained soul level damage it's coming up now so yeah all of the drinkers tokers smokers avoiders anybody that's been disrupting you or your beloved the way is here okay we have transmuted and gotten rid of so much stuff that it's really becoming very possible to do this in a much easier manner than a year ago and yeah this year you're going to have retrogrades you are going to have planetary alignments there's another series of uh, moon there's another moon tetrad which is uh, lunar eclipse solar eclipse lunar eclipse solar eclipse all of this to highlight things about your union things about each other and how you know you're not having um, 3d anymore a lot of you are not in 3d you're in a either lower or higher fourth dimensional vibration it's up to you to maintain that it's not up to anybody else it's up to you it's time for you to be your own best friend and to you know really take good care of yourself now there's a couple other things that I want to talk about and that is some of the dynamics of twin flames there are a lot of people where there is an uh, older woman younger man situation there are also people that are or have been best friends and they're actually finding out that they are twin flames that they are each other's true beloved and that they're beginning their journey home they're having things open up on them there are also people that are very much having sudden awakenings there's people being called up spirits calling them and cracking off stuff and waking them up why because other people chose to let go and that was their choice and they're either going to have to choose to you know kind of reconnect and if I may say so this is not uh, as simple as a human meeting another human this is your soul and so the, this the soul level decision has been made are you just delaying the inevitable it's up to you to make the choice and 
So the people who have been able to connect and stay together and hold their elevated state will be heading home to whatever home that is. And for a lot of them, it will be to the new Earth at Earth's fifth dimensional level. Um, they are showing the way. They are going to be couples that are literally vibing source love down here into the grid of life. And these couples will begin to merge, and they will be able to come back into their bodies and to talk about it. Now, this year is going to be exciting because there's a whole lot of other stuff, and a lot of things have been coming through people's readings. Places. Um, new ways of educating children. There are people getting their inspirations ready. The children are important. If you have kids, if your twin flame has kids, do not be afraid. Be expected. Because those children in many ways are your children. And yeah, it's going to take a village to raise those children because they will need attention, they will need the love and support. And some of you are going to be those people who have the higher connections and pull it through. It's not going to be just information. It is going to be what vibes out of your heart. How am I able to do this? Because I make it a daily practice throughout the day to put myself into and connect with my union. I get my answers. I get everything that's gleaned here. I get my guidance. And I don't care what it is. There's sometimes I get uh, my body telling me, okay, make a juice and put these colors in it. And that's what I go with, and I feel pretty good. As you connect higher and higher, it becomes effortless where your, your brain and your mind isn't a part of it. It is less exhausting. There's time to enjoy. There's time for fun. There's time for surprises. And you really do have to um, make it a point to do this. So going back to old things, you know, that's a choice, okay? It is a choice. Nobody's going to chase you. This year is a bit different than last year. Last year it was possible to tote your twin along and drag them, and this year it will be very similar to fishing. You have your twin on the hook, but there are things that they themselves have to do. And, you know, they're, they're going to have to do it. Some of it's going very quickly and swiftly, and some of it's going very slowly and painfully. And yet it's still moving along. And in a lot of ways, this is like the ocean currents. There's some very swiftly moving currents, and there's some that are very slow moving or the ones that rise to the top. Now, if like some of you, um, there are people who, you know, they're a twin flame. They've been expecting since a child, and they've been told, you know, you're going to meet your true love. But that person shows up, and ooh, ooh, I remember you the last time I saw you, and you hurt my people. You know, there's going to be things that your body and your cell memories remember. And, you know, getting that all cleaned off where the things literally come off, of your twin and that is going to be what it's taking here because a lot of you are going to find that the energies and now this is a different twin twin flame couple how do they do their healings they literally have to hold each other and meld in there are parts of them on the inside that will uh, melt and and heal. And this is one of the old ways that we did this. It is possible to um, do some for yourself. And there's all kinds of stuff that people have. Not every twin flame couple is releasing the same type of soul damage. That is why it will look across the board like there's some people that seem to have completely lost themselves in the damage. They will scream and scream and scream or cry. And this is really deep, long ago and far away stuff. And other people seem to just bump along very well. There's no hard and fast rule about it. However, 
collectively, we are getting rid of things, and this largely has fallen on the shoulders of the blue ray twin flames, not to discount other rays. It's almost like if you build a house and you've not put in the electricity, what good is it going to do you to paint the walls? You need the infrastructure. You need the base. You need the foundation. And that is, that is what the purpose is served with this um, grid of life and pulling through source love. Some of you have a pretty big grid point. And one of the things that has been happening in the readings that I'm doing for people is I feel like we're looping together and we are, you know, connecting places. There's been loops with Australia and England and France and Florida and South America and Canada. And what does that look like? That looks like a flower. That looks like the flower of life grid that has been established and, and things are held higher. Now, some people have elevated and this has a sort of like effect that's going on. Everything keeps getting elevated. If people are reaching into the old, that's what they're gonna get. So, um, this, is, this is a lot of uh, what's gonna happen in the Mercury retrograde. You're literally going to come up and have presented to you things that may not be situations that you want again, or it may seem like you're revisiting something that should have concluded last year. It could be a court case. It could be a marital situation. It could be old friends or lovers and people that you, you really don't need on your union. You really don't need them, and it's going to be important to make a decision. Very important, do not send a mixed signal. If you want to be in love, and this is why this is happening this year, okay, if a lot of you have noticed, it's like the pressure's on, and yet you seem to be sort of floating in space saying, what is happening, what gives, okay? Not only does the universe want your participation, it wants you to want what you decided you wanted, years ago, if you wish to be in love, okay? In other words, some of you wish to be in love, you wish to be with your twin flame. Well, it's taking the time it takes while everything gets orchestrated. And I'm going to mention one more thing. A lot of you feel a very strong connection to a planet. A lot of you are star seeds. You recall lives. You recall um, coming from someplace else and being here, and you feel connected. However, uh, the long ago and far away places where there's been damage, in Lyra, the Lyrans, Vega, the um, Arcturus system, Maya and the Pallades. And by the way, this month of January, you can actually see in the night sky in the northern hemisphere with your naked eye. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Antares, Aldebaran, and you can see the Pallades star cluster, Sirius. So if you look at um, Orion's belt, and Orion, if you follow the belt south or down towards Earth's horizon, that's Sirius right now at this time of year. If you um, look at the constellation of Taurus, all the barn is the red eye. So these are all connection points, and this is literally what you're collapsing in. You are pulling in all of your physical experiences from this place, this place, this place, this place. This year is for pulling in the divine masculine aspect of those places as you get it cleaned up. You're pulling it in. You are integrating in physicality all of those physical experiences, no matter what dimension it's in, no matter where it was, no matter which planet you feel, and some of it I don't even have names for. Some of it's so long ago and far away. And there's a reason why the soul damage happened. We did not realize at some point that we were the holders of this grid of life. And some people left. They just left, and things collapsed, and that caused soul damage. And this is the point where 
we are making sure everything is positioned, everything is in place, that nothing falls again, and doing it from a physical level and up and out. And by the way, what happens on earth doesn't stay on earth. Every single one of those places that I've mentioned and then some, a lot of you are connected along your solar plexus, and you are the entity that is uplifting them. And I'm going to just share this in closing. I got this lovely bag from the Lyric Opera of Chicago, and I just love this line on here. Um, there's, there's some stuff on here that's really talking about some of our old ancient history. Great battle scenes aren't set to soft rock. When was the last time you cried at a cubism exhibit? More deceit and intrigue than a Hollywood marriage. And this is the one I love. Can you see it there? Let me. And I'm going to, I'm just going to say here, millions, millions of years of passion can't be downloaded. It's in you. Continue uncovering it. Use it wisely. Okay, thanks so much for listening. I'm going to have more. I'm actually working, my, my last webinar was a bit of a Mercury retrograde fiasco. I'm actually working on something so that I can do a presentation um, probably on some more public venue. And it, whoever wants to participate, I will be announcing it. But it will be for the purpose of walking you into your divinity. It's something that I do in the session, and it has especially happened for those people who are the Blu-ray Twin Flames. Not that everyone isn't equally important, but as some of you are seeing, there is a divine timing and a sequence to this. Boom, boom, boom. It's happening. It's on. This is the year. This is the year for a lot of people. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.